Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're gonna show you guys how to set up scheduled tasks in Windows Server 2025. Before we get started with today's video, if you guys are interested in purchasing Windows Server, remote desktop licenses, Windows 10, Windows 11, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, be sure to check out Indigo Software. We'll have those links down below. So without further ado, let's jump in. Hey. Today's video all right guys so here we are in windows server 2025 i am on the desktop so currently uh, let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial so the first thing i'm going to access is the tasks scheduler if i hit windows key and r together here in the bottom left hand side uh, we can see the run box will come up and we're going to type in tasks so task plural and then chd this is short for task scheduler.msc, and we'll press enter. All right, and then I'll go ahead and maximize this to just make it a little bit easier to see. Okay, so this is a look at the task scheduler. Uh, it's basically the same application that we would have on a typical Windows 11 computer. And we're just gonna show you guys how we might go about scheduling a few tasks that can run automatically. Let's start with creating a basic task, and we can do that in the actions pane. So if we take a look at the layout, we have our task scheduler local. Below that, we've got a library, followed by some other folders. Uh, and then on the right, we have the actions page. In the middle, we can actually see the summary and which tasks are set to run. So let's start with creating a basic task. Let's just say, for example, I want a daily backup script. This is a, a good example. Cool. So I can go ahead and type that and I'll hit enter. Uh, for this, I want it to trigger daily. I want it to recur every day. And then on the action, we're gonna choose program. We'll hit next. The program or script that we want in this case is notepad. So for this, we could actually run any program that we want. For example, we might want to back up uh, several different programs, or for example, we might want to run a daily task to back up several different programs. For the example, let's go with PowerShell. And then for example, I could, this is just an example of something I could enter here, but if I add an argument, uh, I could basically have it run a script automatically and open PowerShell. This is the action that takes place following this trigger. So essentially, if you have PowerShell scripts that you want to run, maybe it's a daily backup script, for example, copying files from one location to another or to a shared drive or something like that, uh, we can have that script automatically run here. What I'd like to do from here is actually show you guys hands-on how you would use this to back something up. So I'm gonna X out of this for now, and we're gonna create a new folder inside of my C drive. So this PC, local disk. I'm just gonna right click in here and create a new folder. I'll, and I'm gonna call this notes. I'll double click in here and then I'm gonna create a new text file. So a new text what? document. And I'll just call this my notes. I'm gonna back out now and I'm going to make a separate folder for the backup itself. I'll call this notes backup. And then easier to show you guys back on my text document, I'll enter some notes. Okay. All right, and now I'm gonna go back into my task scheduler and we'll create a basic task. I'm gonna title this notes backup. We'll set this to daily and doc we'll set this to recur every day. Maybe the time 5 p.m. that's fine. And then for the action here, we'll select next on startup program. The program will again be powershell.exe. Now this is the script that I wrote out for this. So I'm going to enter this into the argument. So basically what this is doing is copy item and then uh, notes and my notes.txt, and then it's gonna paste it in the notes backup. And if you do something similar to this, just making sure that the names of the folders are exactly the same. So it looks like my notes backup is actually just notes backup, just like that. Um, and so basically I'm gonna copy this and we'll go back here and I'll add this in the arguments. All right, at this point I'll hit next. And then if we want, we could add a description. All right, and then I'll go ahead and click finish. So basically what we just did is that every day at 5 p.m. or whatever the time was specifically, that script that we added is going to copy my notes. So if I go into notepad and I start typing stuff in here, it's gonna automatically create a backup that lives in this folder. I hope that's helpful at just showing you guys some of the things that you're able to do inside of Task Scheduler, especially if you're using things like PowerShell with scripts. Now we can take our new tasks a step further. Uh, let's go ahead and find where my new task is. It should be local. Okay, so here we can see the task that we just created. If I right click on this task, we have the option to adjust the properties. Inside of general, we can, for example, run when the user is logged on, or we can run whether the user is logged on or not. 
We can also run with the highest privileges. We could configure this for our specific version of Windows Server. We also have a tab over here called Conditions. So for example, I could start the tasks only if the computer is on and has AC power and stop it if it switches to battery power. We could also wake the computer up to run this tasks. And so here we have, again, several conditions that we can enter. We also have some settings, and this will give us a few additional options, like if the task fails, restart every certain amount of time, and, and other similar options that can help us get this task to do everything we want it to do. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for today's video. If you have any questions about anything we covered, feel free to drop those in the comments below, and we'll get back with you as soon as we can. Again, if you're interested in purchasing genuine Microsoft software at a great price, be sure to check out Indigo Software. We'll have those links down below. As our channel continues to grow, we're constantly looking for new video topic ideas. If you have any ideas of your own, we'd love to know what those are. Most viewer commented video requests get made into actual videos on our channel. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.